Okay, welcome back to Timeless Merchant. Today I'm gonna do a quick episode on this American style firefighter helmet. Just sold this helmet right here, $182 on eBay, and that was pretty good. I picked this up for $25, so that was pretty great. There was a lot of interest in this. I had a lot of people bidding on it. It was some European firefighters that really wanted it too. He messaged me and we talked a little bit but it, it ended up going to someone in Florida bought this. I hadn't planned on flipping it. I bought it because I used to be a firefighter in Norway for a few years. So I've always been intrigued, I've always been curious about the American style or, or the American shaped helmet. We're all familiar with this iconic looking helmet. Whether you're from the US, you see all, almost all firefighters wear this kind of style of helmet. Or if you're from other parts of the world, you've definitely seen helmets like this in cartoons or in TV series or movies. And it's very stereotypically an American helmet, American firefighting helmet. Bought it off a guy who was a firefighter. He was retired. And it's pretty new. So I decided for 25 bucks, why not? And let's just quickly take a look at this. I mean, they are unique. They remind me of some of, have you seen some of the old school military uniforms? Maybe it was the Germans or Austrians back at the, back in the beginning of the 1900s, how they're kind of modern, but they had these crazy looking helmets on still. So the purpose of this iconic looking brim in the back was to channel water from the front and off to the back. So yeah, here you have, of course you have the glasses and that's all nice and stuff with some visors, but the whole purpose of this design was for water and embers to flow away from your face to the back and then off. So around the brim of the hat, you can see it has this nice little design. And I like that, that is really nice. Some kind of leaf and flower. And then over here you have this emblem. And if we look in the front of it, we can see it has this eagle. I, I think it's an eagle. I saw one video where a guy was called it a phoenix, but I don't know, it might have been a different type, honestly, but this eagle right here, I don't know what it's made out of, probably, I don't know, brass? Looks nice, and the purpose of this right here, you can see, it has a little clasp here. And this is where you would attach a front piece, usually made out of leather or some type of alloy. It could say your rank, it could say your fire department, maybe the logo, all kind of different things. I, I'm not really sure what different departments do over here. I was reading somewhere that originally, this point right here, this used to be used to break glass or to break windows. I don't know in what way, maybe would you take off your helmet and maybe knock the window or would you, I don't know, would you have it on and just, I can't see that being that smart either, but anyways. And then at the back of the helmet, you have this little loop right here that you can just hang up your helmet when you're done with it. So goggles, you have some safety, plastic safety glasses coming down. They're pr very good spring to them. You gotta put some force pulling, that, pulling them down. And then inside you can see adjustable to adjust the size and nothing more. You have this little flap covered back the side of your neck and pretty cool. I mean, it, it is a pretty cool helmet. However, just real quick what I think about it because like I said, I've been a firefighter before in Europe, but we wear a different style of helmet there. Over there we use a helmet, I've seen it referred to as a European style helmet or a Euro style helmet, but basically it's a helmet that looks different and it's more of a helmet. Here we see a modern day European firefighter in his state-of-the-art uniform. 
No, I'm just kidding. This is, here we have one. This is a French firefighter and you can see it's, it's a slimmer kind of look. So part of the reason why I bought this helmet at a yard sale last year was because I am truly curious or I was truly curious about why is the helmet shaped the way it is? Is it comfortable? Does it have any benefits? And so I decided to buy it and just for personal reasons, bring it home and try it out. And, uh, and this is just my opinion, but if you're a firefighter, if you know someone who's a firefighter, or if you're in charge of the men and women in your force, in your department doing firefighting, I think it's irresponsible to be using helmets like this, especially in the year 2022. This to me is a style and type of helmet that should have been retired a long time ago. Let me explain why. Okay, so the helmet is on, it's attached securely, I don't have the hood that I'm supposed to have under it, but it's attached securely. And my first reaction to this is that it's very top heavy. It sits well on my head, but it's top heavy. Number two, which I think it's kind of ridiculous, is this exaggerated brim in the front and then truly exaggerated brim in the back. To me, that is just a point of danger. If something falls on your head where you're inside a house fighting fire or you're doing something else where things fall on you, your helmet is securely attached to your head and as soon as you have a beam, for example, falling down and hitting you, that is gonna rip you. It's gonna rip you down and I can just only imagine the type of neck damages that have happened because of this. And then the third thing that I think is makes this helmet dangerous and antiquated is the fact that you have little to no protection around your ears from this part back and especially and especially the back of your head you're very exposed there and also there's just other things about this helmet there's no placement for new newer types of mask to attach to you would have to use the old kind of octopus, the thing that you strap around the head and then put your helmet on. And also there's not really any out of the box type of attachment places for, for example, a flashlight or a IR camera or whatever it might be. So those things alone there, in my opinion, makes this type of helmet old school and I personally would not use this type of helmet if I was fighting fires. But these are just my opinions. Yeah, I have used Eurostyle firefighting helmets before. That's what I'm used to. I've tried this on, but I've never used this in actual action, of course, because I, I don't do firefighting over here. Everything what I see, no, I don't think this is a helmet that should be used by any firefighter. Maybe I'm overseeing something. Maybe there's something about this helmet that I don't understand the benefit of. And if you're a firefighter here in the US and, and you think I'm totally off and if you think I'm wrong, I want, I want to know about it. I, there, there could be some advantage with this kind of helmet that I'm just not seeing. But like I said, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing why this type of helmet is superior to a Euro style firefighting helmet. Anyways, that was just my little rant about this style of helmet. Besides usage, I think this helmet is very cool. Like I said, it's a very iconic looking helmet. This is what you associate with American firefighters. Bought for 25, sold for $182. That's pretty good. Very cool. Um, actually, now I'm kind of a little upset about letting it go because the more I look at it, the cooler I think it is. But it's going to a better home. Although I don't think people should be using this type of helmet. I hope that whoever buys it, unless he's displaying it, I hope that it serves him well and I hope it protects him. So, or her. 
Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, stay timeless.